in this problem we want to use some given information to determine the number of elements in these sets and what we know is that the number of elements in A intersect B intersect C is 2 we know the number of elements inside of set C is 29 we know that the number of elements in A complement intersect B complement intersect C complement is 8 we know that the number of elements in A intersect B is 9 we know that the number of elements in A intersect C is 10 we know the number of elements in B intersect C is 11 we know that the number of elements in A intersect C complement is 28 and last but not least we know that the number of elements in set B is 41. We want to use that information to figure out the number of elements in each of these labeled regions. As always, if possible, you want to start in the innermost region. And that innermost region here is the one labeled with a W. That's the overlap between A, B, and C. In other words, that's A intersect B intersect C. So we know that that value is 2. So what we've just shown is that the value of W is equal to 2. Then you sort of move your way around. The other one that's really easy if you interpret it correctly is this one. It's the intersection of all the complements. So these are the number of elements that are not in A and they're not in B and they're not in C. So in other words, the number of elements that aren't in any of the circles. So they're telling you that R is equal to 8. The number of elements that aren't in any of the three circles. They're not in A, and they're not in B, and they're not in C. So they've already told us fairly directly that R is equal to 8, and now we've used that. So those pro are probably the two easiest pieces of information to get off the plate in the very beginning. Now we're going to work our way through, and I would suppose the intersection of the two sets are the next easiest things to to deal with so I would think I would next go to the intersection of A and B where A and B overlap I'm supposed to get 9 well this is A and this is B so they overlap in this sort of football shaped region right here and that overlap is supposed to be 9 but I already have 2 in there so that means there should be 7 more right there and that's what was labeled X so X is equal to 7 okay that's X and now I've used this piece of information. Moving down, the overlap between A and C, A is here, C and here, C is here, so the overlap is this football shaped region that includes Y and W, right here, and that's supposed to be 10. You already have 2, so that means Y would be 8. So now I know that Y is 8, and I've used this piece of information. Continuing the overlap between B and C, there's B and there's C, so the overlap between B and C would be this football shaped region here, which consists of W and Z. But I already know that W is 2, and the overlap is supposed to be 11, so that means Z would be 9. So now I know that Z is 9, and I've used this piece of information. Um, you kind of just look back and forth. I do notice that I know everything in set B except N, and I know that there are supposed to be 41 elements in set B, so I might at this point use this and say, well, whatever N is, when I add it up to 7 and 2 and 9, I've got to get 41, so 7 and 2 is 9, another 9 is 18, so whatever goes in here is going to be 41 minus 18, and I believe that would be 23. So that tells me that n is equal to 23. And if you don't believe me, add them up. 23 plus 9 plus 2 plus 7 comes out to 41. And I sort of see the same thing here. They tell me that there are 29 elements in set C, and I know everything but P, 
So if I look at what I already know, 9 and 2 is 11, plus 8 is 19, and I want them to add up to 29. So I'm just 10 short of 29. So 10 plus 9 is 19, plus 2 is 21, plus 8 is 29, and that fits that piece of information. And that tells me that uh, uh, P is equal to 10. The only piece of information that I haven't used is this one, and the only thing I don't know is M. So let's see how that can help us. This says I want to overlap A and C complement. In other words, I want the intersection of A with the things that are not in C. And we've talked about this in earlier problems, and if you're still having trouble with this, go back and look at one of the earlier problems. A intersect with C complement means the things that are in A, but at the same time are not in C. So the things that are in A, but at the same time are not in C. So the things that are not in A are the uncovered areas there, but at the same time they're not in C, so I'd have to get rid of that. So what's left uncovered is the M and the X, or the M and the 7, since I already know that X is 7, and it's supposed to add up to 28. So M must be 21 in order for 21 plus 7 to be equal to 28. So that tells me now that M is equal to 21. And that uses the last piece of information I was given, and it also completes all the letters that were in the original problem.